it's me, Joy Slash Fairy Liquid from the magical land of Jing Jang Fu Jong, entertaining you as you entertain children. Oh, that's a nice little catchphrase after you use that one. Um, so I thought today I'd show you how I, I do a very simple Rapunzel balloon. This one takes five minutes, I don't know, not long to crack out, depending on how many distractions you have or poppages. Um, and I thought we'd make a Rapunzel today. Uh, so uh, first of all, you are going to need a blush 260. And you can get two princesses out of this. Um, so that's worth knowing. So don't cut off too much at the end. So you're gonna start off and blow that one up first. Tie it off at the end. Now, I tend to do the blush ones behind my back. Could look a bit rude. I don't want anybody to get getting the wrong idea about what sort of entertainment I'm going to be providing. So a little bit of wisdom is always required in these situations. So, so you've got your um, blush balloon and I've only blown it up less than halfway because you're only going to be using half of it. I'm sorry, just started giggling. I had to stop, right? Um, the, uh, we're going to start with the face first. So the face, um, the experience will show you how big to make the face. So I've got about well, like four fingers, maybe, maybe even a whole hand span there. Not too big, because you don't want her to have a long face. We're not making horses here or moody princesses. Right, then we're gonna do um, uh, an arm, which is longer than the face, and there really is no particular length that you need to know. Um, and followed by another balloon. I'm just gently squashing the air down so that they're not, so that the bubbles are a little bit soft because um, that we don't want it to, to burst. So I'm going to make another hand now. So I've got face, arm, hand, hand. So we need another arm, the same length as the other one. Just twisting around there. And now I line it up like that and turn it round. And I usually just pop the head through as well. I don't even know if that makes any more difference, but it stops it unpopping while I'm holding it. So, uh, let's, we've got a, kind of like a headless poodle there. And now I'm just gonna squish, squish, squish the air. We don't want the rest of this balloon. I'm gonna cut the minimal amount I can so that I can save this other half for another balloon another day. But I don't wanna cut off too little, which I think I've just done. Because <laughs> it makes it tricky tying a knot. But uh, I actually, that wasn't too bad. I judged that very well. Okay. Otherwise you spend half the time trying to do these fiddly tiny knots, which is a bit of a waste of time. Hey, look, so that is our head and arms. So I'm just gonna place that aside for now and going to work on the dress. So this is a standard princess dress that I use for all the princesses. This one here is a Sempotex satin, uh, pearl satin or something like that. Um, so let's just blow that up. As long as it's purple, lilac color, doesn't really matter. Tie that off. Smile, don't forget to smile. <laughs> I can't really concentrate too hard on these things. Right, I'll show you how much I've got left. Oh, that three fingers there. I don't really think you need all of that. Let's, um, let's just give it a little squeeze because we want it soft. And I'm going to make the sleeves. So I'm going to just turn this back on itself as small as I can get, just as the smallest pinch twist that I can. And that's gonna make the first puffy sleeve. And then squishy, squishy, squishy. Again, just turn it back on itself. And because I want to make the same size sleeve, twisting it round. There we go, our sleeves. Gonna make a body, probably about a hand span. Like that. And just squishing the air all the way up to the end. So that we've got none left. Now we're going to make the ball gown part of the skirt. So I'm going to take one, two, three, I don't know, about three hand spans. It doesn't really matter. This first twist doesn't matter. Okay, so just bring it back on itself like that. And I'm just going to make another twist so that it's the same length. Holding the top bit up and the bottom bit down. We turn it around, twisty twisty like that. And so we've got our first part of the dress. The rest is going to be another part of the dress going over there and back on the other side with a little ball at the back to be in the bustle. Now I suppose the, probably the easiest way for you guys, although I don't, I normally judge it by my eye, but you can just twist the bubble there and then look and see how much you've got exactly halfway in between. So it's there, so I'll just let go of the bubble and twist that. Okay 
and we're going to just to put this over to the join here and just put it over the top of the join like that you don't need to go wrap it round and under and over or anything like that it should just stay by itself now if you've measured it correctly it should be it should be about the same as the other side with a little bit extra so I'm just going to twist that off again like that and I'm going to twist it around like that and that becomes the bustle of our dress so there we are have our lovely princess dress and um we next want to do the hair now rapunzel hair is so easy because you don't need to cut it or anything you're just going to use a whole yellow balloon let's just lay the dress aside for the moment so it's a three-part balloon you're going to need three balloons or well, two and a half and uh, let's just inflate rapunzel's hair now i do leave a fair bit at the end because um I kind of make it into a plait, the end of the plait. So just uh, squeeze that through there like that. Don't forget to give it a squishy, squishy, squishy. And we're gonna turn, we're just gonna twist the bubble off about three fingers. Does, again, it doesn't really matter the exact size. And then we're gonna just hold on to the nozzle. And again, just sort of bring that back like a pinch twist into there. So we've got that. And then we're going to make the fringe, which the North Americans call the bangs. We're going to make them bangs. We call it a fringe here. It's a fringe, all right? And uh, Rapunzel's got quite a big fringe. So we're just going to loop it around like that. Probably just over my hand, hand span. Sorry, four fingers, I suppose. Twisting that around. So we get that. And then we're just going to give it a squidgy. And I'm going to, uh, um, probably about hand span, all the way down. Uh, I'm going to make, well, this is really should be the size of the, the head. Remember the head you made in blush? It's about the same length as the head, maybe slightly longer. I'm going to twist the bubble off there. And we're going to do, go back on ourselves and do one the same size up to uh, the join there. Make sure it's about the same size. Twisty, twisty. And then we're going to twist that around the bangs. The bangs. How do you say it? I love everybody's accent. Do you like mine? Right, so there we got those two like that. And now we're gonna make another one, same size. We're gonna pass it through. So this is why we needed it quite soft, okay? So again, just give it a squidgy, squidgy. And twist off a slightly smaller bubble. I think it will help if it's just slightly smaller, it's gonna fit through easier, okay? And now, basically what you're going to do is push that through. So, lining up the bottom there. Just push that through there. I think that has got a special name, like a banana twist or something, but I don't know. Anyway, there we have our our hair. And um, and what I do now is, because one's slightly smaller than the other, I just turn that one to the back, so that the two ones that are exactly the same size are facing the front. So now I'm gonna attach the head, the face, and um, I'm going to take hold of this nozzle and wrap it around the fringe. We're going to pull this one down, uh, the, the, the shoulders down, and that's going to join in at that join there. And spin it around a few times. Just got nice chubby arms now. And now we get hold of our dress, and are going to take hold of the shoulders, or the, the sleeves, and we're going to pass them in the, the neck join there. So this is when things go bang, if, uh, if you've blown them up too tightly. So get hold of all the heads, and, and here, we're going to push that up and the, and the arms and the dress, uh, but obviously not the sleeves. Sleeves are going to go up too, but the body of the dress is going to go down as we twist. Right, just one and a half times maybe twisting that round. Now we're just going to get it into, the, into shape. So we want to make bring her arms round to the front, hair to the back. Bustle to the back. And now what we're gonna do with these shoulders is with these arms, we're gonna we're gonna push them behind the, uh, the dress like that. And bring the head up so it's in the middle there. Ooh, she's got right Popeye arms there. Do you remember Popeye? 
<laughs> so there we go. And her hair is sticking out. That's okay. I've got a little bit left over there. There we go. She's got lovely long hair and you know, you can just use that as a handle if you want. Are we gonna put a face on? Now this is where you probably will excel way better than I. Um, I, well, I really hope I don't ruin it with my artwork, but let's go ahead anyway. So I'm gonna do an eye. So it's probably about halfway down. And on the other side, eyelashes. So there's my eyes. It's a little bit too far apart. Then um, I use a brown for eyebrows. Ooh, very trendy, thick eyebrows there. And a nose. I think, I think she's got green eyes, Rapunzel, hasn't she? So let's give her some green eyes. And a mouth. Right. Job's a good one. <laughs> it, it does the job, it does the job. And there we have our Rapunzel. <laughs> so she's very simple, very quick to do. If you enjoyed this video, just click the like button now, please. Don't forget to subscribe. Where's the subscribe? Is it there? And, um, uh, you know, please tell me below if uh, this has been helpful to you or if you have any suggestions for other ones. Thanks for joining me. See you soon. Bye.